Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. We appreciate it. Get that money. Get that money. Before you go, Roger, I talk to people about you guys all the time, and I tell them it's a hit squad out there. Now, we have a lot of things in common, but one thing that we do have in common is we all worked at West Teleservices. And at West Teleservices, I tried to give any and everybody everything that I could. A lot of people don't believe that. And I tell them that these guys are the best of the best when it comes to hustling, when it comes to selling cars. You can put them on a goddamn chicken egg farm, and they're going to find a way to outshine everybody and be the best out there because they're not going to settle for losing. We do. We win at all costs. W-I-N, what's important now? Will you tell these folks where this, where, 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 yo, how your connection to me paid off when you was young? Absolutely. Now, I know you got to go and, 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 and close some deals, right? Always be closing. And who, who speaks first loses. You know that. So you go sell them cars. Absolutely. You go sell them cars, and I'm going to get you on one of these shows, probably on Solid Words Unleashed, where we can sit down and interview, and you can tell people about credit. Because, folks, you can argue with this man or not. You know how hard you had this man working to put you in that goddamn car? He doing everything he can because you did everything that you weren't supposed to do. See, he's not going to tell you that, but I'm going to tell you that for him. If you did what you were supposed to do, just if, if you quit putting now ladies on, on, on layaway and eating nine of them and not want to pay for the last one, you can go in there and he can, he can get you in what you want. Okay, Travis. Tr uh, Roderick is gone. Let's get back on, on, on track. I totally agree, Travis. I mean, we have to be involved. We have to be aware of our surroundings, and we have to get in a place where we're not a product of our environment, but our environment is a product of us. It goes back to what you always said. It starts in the house. Parents, especially the mother, because you're going to spend more time with these kids than anybody. Teach them how to read and write. If you can teach them how to twerk, you can teach them how to read and write. Right. It's about what you teach them. If your kids don't know how to line up some blocks, A, B, C, D, but they can break down a swisher, you damn right. You, you are a horrible parent, Travis. They are horrible parents. And if you're going to teach your kids some manufacturing, 
Teach them how to manufacture some shit that you can sell. Shit, go have a garden in the backyard. Teach them how to cultivate damn uh, 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 potatoes, greens, and shit like that. Teach them that. You know, you got people out here that say my kids are allergic to grass. They can't have mama outside cutting the yard. But the kid been playing football since they was goddamn four and five years old. And I'm like, what's the difference in that grass and this grass out here? Come on now. We got to do better than this. Yeah. We have to. Yes, sir. I'm a motivated extra. Why are they dry? The pink's in their dry. <laughs> Fear, Travis, is like terrorism. People so terrified to do what they, I, I, the unseen. Even if they know in that dark area is a success to the vision that they have. Sometimes fear causes them to procrastinate. 
I don't have the money to do it. Uh, I'm going to have to wait until tomorrow. Uh, uh, I'm not Mark Zuckerberg. Really? But on the other turn, I'm a G. I'm a gangster. I'm not, I'm not understanding. What are you so afraid of? Success? Oh, they told you it was lonely at the top? Oh, they told you it takes money to make money? Oh, let's look at that. It takes money to make money. So if there are some people out there that are so whitewashed that all they do is spend $1.5 trillion, then I will take the money from them. Do you hear what I said? Did y'all follow that? It takes money. I will take the money from those people and keep my head, keep my foot on their neck through policies. This is what Travis is talking about, the awareness part. Don't be afraid to watch this TV and take notes and just don't watch it for entertainment. Don't be afraid to tune into politics whether you vote or not. Be aware of what's going on. Are they putting some policies in place that's going to keep the foot of the system on my neck? If they are, you need to know who is against this. And if the person that's against this, whatever it is, it's in your best interest, whether they're Democrat or Republican or independent, you need to stand behind them because they have or appear to have what is in your best interest. Now, the reason I say appear to have, you can hear people on the radio, you can see them on TV, but it's nothing like looking into the windows to their soul. They call eyes. Look them in their eyes and you can tell whether they bullshitting you. If they are, look at them and tell them. Call them out. I hear what you're saying, but I don't believe you. And if you don't show me, don't threaten them like Snoop Dogg and, and, and these people that's threatening Zimmerman, but he's still walking around this earth. Knock on their goddamn door. See them at the restaurant and say, hey, I voted for you. What's going on? Keep me informed. When you gonna get to the thing that you said you was gonna do for me? Now, the other thing is, don't let them take your money and your vote and don't come through. Oh, but the problem with it is most of, our, most of you, or most of us, all we have is a vote. We don't have no money to put behind it. So they don't take time to listen to shit you got to say. They just come into your church, pander to get your vote, to put, you, put them over the edge. And then what they do? They go deaf as a motherfucker. You got to have some sign language to talk to them because they don't understand broke motherfuckers. They understand money talk. See, if money talks, they invite Cardi B to the White House. How did Cardi B get her money? From all of you consumers out there. You being consumed in a fire. Consumed. Look that word up. Google Search and see how many times consumed is in that 66 books of that Bible that you read and see what it says about being consumed and get back at me. That's the point. Don't be afraid. Let me show you what happens. One more thing, Travis, and then I'm going to turn it back over to you. If you have one leader, like a Martin or a Malcolm, and they the leader of the movement, they will have them assassinated to strike fear in your heart. And you know what you do? I don't want none of that. I'm a gangster when it's convenient. But I don't want none of that. I got kids to take care of. I don't want none of that. You get scared. You conform. And all you do is pray for Jesus to come fix it. Well, let me tell you this before I finish. The same Jesus that you say you covered in by the grace of the blood of Jesus, the lamb, and gave you grace and all that other kind of stuff. He died on the cross so you wouldn't have to. These folks kill him. Hmm. That same Jesus that you wait on to come back and save you was a ship that bought slaves over here. We waiting on Jesus. I ain't gonna go too deep. Look it up. That same Jesus 
that's covered in the blood, that covered you in the blood, saved you by grace, that you say is in control of everything, you telling me that that Jesus and his father and that Holy Spirit are putting you through this? <laughs> I'd change teams if I was you. If, if I was in a pickup basketball game and Jesus was trying to pick me based on his track record, I'd be like, nah, dog, I sprained my ankle. I blew up my ACL getting some water. I don't want to play on your team. I play with the other guy. Because you be doing some shit that's unreal. Anybody, call in if you want to dispute what I'm saying. And I'll give you every example that I can come up with. Every example. And I know y'all sitting there praying, talking about this dude is doing and living how he living, and you can't wait for me to fall. But guess what? The repo man ain't going to show up over here. He got a better chance of getting this shit. And Jesus ain't going to show up over here because you know what? We are, treat, we are created in his image. Anything that he could do based on that book, if you believe it, I can do. So guess what? You start being the son, the S-U-N, and stop revolving around the goddamn world and make the world revolve around you because you got that much power. Black on black peace is black on black progress. Are you with us or not? I'm done, Travis. Now, Travis, yeah. Travis, can I drop one more thing before you go into your fear? There, there has been said in the cliche that there is nothing new under the sun. So let me put some on their mind and let them think about it. The first GoFundMe was set up by religion. It's called Tides and Offering. Uh-oh! Now, who was we funding? Because they say the Jews are the chosen one and the Jews, based on the book, killed Jesus. What did Jesus say about the Jews in Revelations? He said they are the synagogue of Satan, saying that they are something that they are not. And you want to talk about Farrakhan being anti-Semitic when the person that you follow said the most anti-Semitic, if that's even a thing that anybody can say, you too near me not to hear me. Don't let me study that book more than you do when you're going to church every Sunday, getting entertained and getting uh, 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 deformed instead of reformed. Call your preacher. Tell him to come on the show. He want to see hell. I'll sit his ass on fire right here tonight in front of everybody. And I'll call for some backup. Tyrone K. Dunmore and John and all them scholars. If you think I'm playing, you too near me not to hear me. Do it. I dare you. Okay, Travis, I'm done.
I know, Who's smelling you? But who's smelling you? You. Take care and just so you
religion. <coughs> mm, I see what you see with the text talking about your uh your boss. <laughs> See it.
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can't remember exactly where it was. Her hair was nappy, I think it was. That's some nigga shit, Travis. Yeah, that right there is some nigga shit. The only thing you can do is you don't think about all the hard work and all the sacrifices that her and her family put in for her to get there. The only thing you can do is talk about her hair. That's some nigga shit.
Trifling hoes. Haters, flat out haters. That's what they are, haters. Hey, I totally agree with you, Travis. Uh, once again, folks, just in case you don't know, you're listening to the number one show in the country, in your city, in your state, and around the world. It's called A Point with Travis and Robert. This is where you have an opportunity to voice your opinion, right? This is not CNN. This is not MSNBC, ABC, CBS, and NBC. This is black-owned and black-operated. And it's opportunity for you, no matter what color you are, because we're not going to just give the mic to black people. We're going to give the mic to people that call in. So don't say it's a black show. It's just black owned. And if you don't want to be a part of it because it's black owned, fuck you too. Thank you very much. Join this conversation. Tune in. Give your input. And don't just sit around and be a keyboard back a uh, 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 gangster call in and let people hear your voice call in and voice your concerns i don't know your pain i don't know your your individual hurt i know the collective pain that people go through not just black people all people you know you look at the teenage uh suicide rate in this country it's not just black people it's people we need to figure out what to do to help these human beings cope with life it's not just the black murder rate. It's the murder rate across the board. Why are we so violent? Now, of course, it's accelerating the black community. If you study and listen, you will know the reason why. But what's the solution? I'm claiming my set. This is my hood. Look at that some shit that your mama is renting or your girlfriend or your baby mama that's on welfare is taking care of it because your nigga ass ain't doing shit but sitting there playing the PlayStation that she bought for you with her income tax. So what are you going to do when there's no PlayStation provided? What are you going to do when she can't buy you the Jordans? You're going to go get with somebody that can? And then you're going to compromise because the one that can has a dick just like you? Y'all don't fit together. Y'all ain't supposed to be together. Y'all can drink a beer together, but all that, let's go suck a dick shit? Y'all need to cut that shit out. Yeah, I said it. All that, I'm a woman but I was always curious about other women. Bitch, you got nine kids now. You should have been curious before you had the first one. You could have saved all of us a lot of money and saved yourself a whole lot of birth uh, uh, contractions and shit. If that's what you want to do, now to the people that say they can do what they want to because it don't affect me. You let them teach your kids at school and see what your kids are going to cater to. You let them keep having these kids and talking about it don't affect you. That's why you're paying more for your steak and shrimp and your loaf of bread and your milk and gas and shit. Because you subsidizing their lifestyle, saying it don't have nothing to do with you. Yes, it does. Because none of us are truly independent. 
Everybody is dependent on, on another person or another system or another country for something. So if you say you're independent, that shows how crazy you are. You own these songs. I'm an independent black woman. And you know what the white folks are sitting back saying? That bitch so confused, we got her. And she gonna fuck up all the kids that she gonna have. Let her have 10 of them motherfuckers. We'll subsidize this ignorant so they can be the ones that get the community put on blast. Talking about, this my set. We talking about, we need to go back and fix the hood. Leave that motherfucker. Right across the street is a lot of peace and happiness. Go over there. You can't save everybody. If you're going to go over there, be a first responder. Go in there and drag somebody out. But don't let them drag you down. You're talking about crabs in the burrow. I'm talking about niggas in the hood. Not boys in the hood. Niggas in the hood. Not girls in the hood. Niggas in the hood. Travis said earlier, and it's nothing against the Hispanic community. I get tired of pushing goddamn one. Somebody in that, that's been to Mexico tell me if you call customer service in Mexico, do they say push one for America or push two? Somebody tell me if we was important, why have they set aside something for the, for the Hispanic people to push one? Oh, you know why they didn't invest no money in black folks? Because niggas don't pay their bills. So there's no reason to invest anything to make sure that they can try to pay their bills. Because we got somebody that's going to contact them. You know who's going to contact them? Bill collectors. I'm just telling you the damn truth. I'm not talking about you if it don't relate to you. I'm talking about the ones that's barking right now, and I'm about to bite their goddamn head off if they call this number. Don't try to justify that ignorant-ass shit. If you don't pay your bills, you know you're wrong. How can you go to church and say, I'm not going to pay for this car that I bought? That's stealing. How can you go to church and say, I'm going to buy these bootleg CDs? That's stealing. How can you go to church and say, I'm a practicing Christian, but you're going to buy these food stamps? That is Stealing. And if they if the DA is cold enough, it's also a conspiracy. Because the person that holds the card conspires with you how to use the card, and you go in the store and involve the goddamn grocery store. That is a criminal organization. You should be charged with organized crime. Stop it. If you don't need all the food that's on that card, don't be sitting up there selling that shit to turn it into currency and fucking up my check. And all you folks out there to talk about, they okay? If you want to give them some money, give them your money. Don't give them my money. Because the money that I work for, I can spend better than any human being walking around this earth, including my wife and my kids. Because I'm the one that went in there and put in the time or did the work on my own business to make it happen. This is why I understand. Michael Jordan don't have to share none of his shit with none of us. He's not forcing you to go buy no tennis shoes. You going in there because you feel like I need this $190 pair of tennis shoes. And it's nothing against Michael Jordan. I like to see the black man win. Now, on the, uh, that's the businessman that happens to be black. Now, on that moral character shit, I got a lot of problems with Mike. But I support him. And I hope he get a thousand of these black on black t-shirts and these hoodies. Michael, we looking for you. Spread the word. How many preachers going to bomb? How many, how, many, how many preachers are going to bomb for their congregation? Because they're going to get up there and say, ah, what we need right now is we need peace. Ah, well, I got some peace for you. But he's going to say, brother, why don't you make a donation? Uh, because the Lord will, will, will bless you. Fuck you. Jesus can't get one of these shirts for free. I'm sorry, Travis. Travis, let me ask you, let me ask you a question, Travis. Let me ask you a question. You're the father to, to you you're a father to some young men and young and a, and a young woman. If they was in need, how long? And they don't even live in, in, in Metro Atlanta like you. There's some distance between you guys, but you still was in their life. Now, here's the thing. If they needed you, how long would it take for you to get there? Driving. Worst case scenario, you driving. 
13 and a half, 14 ounce. Let's just say that you had one leg and a bad foot. I bet you could crawl from Atlanta to reach one of them kids in less than 2,020 years. Okay, I stopped. That wasn't even right. <laughs> Sound like a deadbeat daddy to me. Travis, I bet you could crawl the wrong way, put on a life vest, and swim all across that ocean, walk across Africa, and come back all the way across the Pacific, crawl across California shoreline, all the way through the mountains in Arizona and all that other shit, and get to Texas with some toe up kneecaps, with calluses on your hands, arms woe down to your, you don't even have hands, your arms is woe down to your elbow, and I bet you it wouldn't take you 2,020 years. Hmm. What's going on, Dwight Sterling? Yeah. Now, yeah, you understand what I'm saying, Travis. You you overstand me.
What's going on, Travis? They giving me all they giving me all kinds of problems on my end. The show didn't dropped about three times. I don't know if you saw it, but we had to work to get it back up. But I had a I had a wardrobe train ch uh, change, Travis. I don't know if you can see me on your monitor, but a uh, good friend of mine designed this. His name is Luther Mitchell. Motivator X, the Drake's Media shirt. We all need to be Motivator X, powered by Drake's Media. Be the X factor. Be the unknown. Be the one that they fear. Instead of fearing everything, make them fear you. Make it where they don't know what your next move is. When it's time to talk, talk. When it's time to listen, listen. When it's time to walk, walk. When it's time to crawl, crawl. When it's time to run, run. But quit getting behind people that you don't know. They walk, they crawl, or what they running for. How can we fix that? Create one from the beginning. Get it out the dirt, as they say. Bring them up out the mud. Start with them at the bottom and be the power behind them that pushes them all the way to the top. And guess what will happen? They'll owe you because you will be the wind that's blowing their sail, that's pushing them forward. If you vote and have no money, have no skin in the game, receive no receipt, make no demands, you should have just watched porn or something. You should have made a tuna fish sandwich. Did something different. Voting without demands is wasted time. Protest without a boycott is wasted time. It's a temper tantrum. What happens when your kids sit over there and fall on the floor and start kicking around on the ground? You sit there and say, he tie yourself out. Or you get on that ass. Well, here's the thing. Don't blame these white folks in the system for being on your ass when you know everything that it does. It knows also that if you kill somebody in the street because you're uneducated, because you're not aware of what was going on before the kid died in the street, because you had no community involvement, right? They don't fear you because you're going to have a temper tantrum for 15 minutes and you're going to get unfocused on the next thing. Let me give you some examples. Mike Brown, Trayvon Martin, Philando Castillo, Sandra Bleen, the, the uh, Kobe Bryant tragedy, Jesse Smollett, R. Kelly, Michael Jackson, Gail King, and Oprah. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't know where I fell off. But the, the more to the story is we throw a temper tantrum and we don't affect them where they need us the most. That $1.5 trillion of black consumer buying power. If we cut it off for 15 minutes, we can cut it off for 30. If we cut it off for 30, we can cut it off for an hour. If we cut it off for an hour, we can do a whole damn day. If we can do a day, we can do a week and turn that week into a month. Bring them down here. If they say it's lonely at the top, let's see how many of them up there. Ain't nobody up there but the one percenters. Politics was designed to divvy up resources and make sure that those that have continue to have and that those that don't have shit, if they don't educate themselves and study and do some research and pay the gatekeeper, they're going to stay in that cage. It's called the ghetto. That's the point. Education, awareness, community involvement, and the ability to deal with fear. And if you do all those things at the top, educate yourself, be aware of what's going on and get involved in your community, and you start cleaning up your community, they will fear you more than the drug dealers and the crackheads because you are there to clean up things. But I'm not telling you to go in there by yourself. Going there with a team of people so they don't know who to get. And they say, we can't kill them all because some of them are tied to people that's going to look for them. See, they grabbed by women off the street, 70,000 of them missing right now. It's not on CNN, but I've heard Travis talk about it. 
You've heard me talk about it. I've heard Tyrone talk about it. I've heard Stan talk about it. And y'all think what we're doing is not important. It's not grassroots. CNN not going to talk about it unless it's something special that pops up. If Oprah's ass come up missing, then they will tell you how many people are missing that's black. They look like her. Because they care about her. Because she's worth something to them. Think about this. If your nigga ass is not worth anything to your own mama in your own community, how in the hell do you think you're worth something to them? You property. They're going to put you in a place where they can put a number on your back, feed you, control your mind, and break your ass down so you can conform when you come out. It's called prison. The 13th Amendment said that it was going to free the slaves Come, let's open it up for everybody in America to be a slave if they commit a felony. So you say you're a felon. Now you're a slave if you don't educate yourself to know that you're better than that. Look my record up. Y'all got Google? Look up Robert Drake's. Now here's the thing. You gonna sit your nigga ass there and let a felon outsmart you? Yeah, I said it. A felon. Outsmart you? You gonna let a person with a high school education outsmart you? I am who I am. The only title that matters to me is that I am a hustler, a go getter. Now that's when I'm talking to the general public. But the biggest title that I hold father, husband, brother, nephew. Uncle. Uh oh. But you hold on. I'm a politician. I'm the first black. I'm a salesman. I'm a teacher. I'm a fireman. I'm a professor. What are you professing? What are you teaching? I'm pastor such and such. And what does that mean to me, pastor? You're a lying motherfucking wolf in sheep's clothing. I don't lie. You're trying to convince my kids that Santa Claus bought them this shit and that Christmas is Jesus' birthday. You're trying to make me believe that a rabbit is laying eggs and shit and they coming out of chocolate and they candy. Half these kids will be sitting around eating shit based on your teachings that you know are wrong. Now, you can tell me all day that I was called. Did they call you to the classroom so you can learn, go and take a theology class? Well, my daddy was a preacher. And his daddy was a preacher. And my great-granddaddy was a preacher. All that preaching and all them tides and y'all still in the projects? Y'all ain't even good at stealing. Y'all have changed y'all profession. Y'all not even good thieves. I stopped Travis. I'm sorry. Motivated X. Absolutely. <laughs> folks, is this, yeah, folks, is this simple? Is this simple? Travis is the number one talk show host in the world. The Point is the number one talk show in the world. Why y'all sitting around grasping on to all these number twos? Oh, because that's all y'all do is number two. You know what I'm saying? All y'all do is talk number two. So I'm going to be politically correct so you can play this for your kids. You eat number two and all you produce is little number twos. I'm able to show 
They call turds. Bastards. Now with that said, stand up. Be a woman. Be a man. Walk the walk. Talk the talk. Stand up right. And whatever you get into, don't settle for just being one in the crowd. Be the best one in the crowd. Women, you can be queens. Study some queens. See what queens do. Queens do. Men, you can be a king. Study what kings do and be a king. You can also be the son, the S-O-N, the one with the power to move the crowd, teach the crowd, educate the crowd, make the crowd aware, teach the crowd community involvement, and teach the crowd to be feared and not to be fearless and not to be filled with fear. Son, S-U-N, you know that thing up in the sky that the flowers are turned to? For photosynthesis, that process that keeps you alive, that takes in carbon dioxide and puts out oxygen so you can breathe. You know, the one that when they teach about the birds and the bees, that if them little bitty bees didn't land on those flowers and pollinate them, none of us would exist. Because the universe or the creator, whichever one you believe in, created these things in perfect order. Stop trying to mess it up. But just as we revolve around the sun, you had a power for the world to revolve around you and for you to stop revolving around the world. Because that would drain all of the power out of you and have us all in a state of darkness. And in that darkness, you won't be educated. You won't be aware of what's going on because you won't be able to see anything. You won't have to worry about being involved in the community because the community is going to make you a product of it. And because it's dark, You'll be fear. You will be you will fear everything around you because you can't see. That's the point. Let's get out of the darkness. They've always said that light and dark can't exist in the same thing. Let your light shine, let it shine bright, and let it affect the community around you. Your walk can be education. You being aware <laughs> can make other people aware. You being involved in the community, you'd be surprised how many people will get out there because they see you out there. And if you got a team of people with you, I bet you you won't be as afraid as you think you are. <coughs> but when folks see you walking in unison, you'll be fearless. But they will be fearful of you. That's the point. Travis, we're going to wrap this thing up. Until next week, folks. We hope you have a, a, a good life. We hope you learn something. We hope you inspire. We hope you're motivated. And we hope you're ready to join the point and let your silent words be heard. We out of here. Share this with your friends and your enemies. Folks, that's the point for tonight. Thank you for tuning in. If you want one of these Motivator X shirts, you can get one. Just send me a text to 972-591-1104. 972-591-1104. Tell me your name and tell me what you want. Fuck with your boy. You know I got it.